Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're gonna look at something different a bit. I, I thought of doing this for better understanding of stacks. So, we're gonna try and convert a decimal value to basically a binary value. And how we do that is, um, if you have a number, suppose, um, I don't know, 5, and you want to convert it to a binary number. So you go 5 divided by 2, okay? You go 5 divided by 2, and you get a remainder of basically 1. So that's the number you're going to put push on the stack the first. And then you're going to divide 5 by 2, and you're going to get like 2.5. So you get 2 over there. You truncate the point 0.5, and you get 2. Then you're going to divide 2 by 2 again, okay? So you get a, I don't know, 2 by 2 is how much? 1. So 2 by 2 is 1. And the remainder is 0. So the remainder is 0. So you're going to pop 0, the remainder, on the stack. So every time you're going to do this, you're going to pop the remainder on, or push the remainder on the stack. Okay? Is that clear? Um, so remainders get pushed on the stack, and then the value of the number which you are actually, you know, getting the remainder off will be divided by 2, and the integer part will be truncated. So remainder pushed on stack, and the numbers get divided by 2, and the integers get truncated. And then you pop the stack again. So this is even seen in the, you know, the literal, you know, the, 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 the actual method of Handley, you know, with the hand, not Handley, sorry. Handley sounds weird <laughs> by, you know, making the stack with your hands um, on a piece of paper or, you know, converting on a piece of paper. So let's just uh, look at how this works. We're going to go... Uh, so first off, first off, we need a few things. We need basically the scanner. We're gonna take input from the user, if you didn't mind. Scanner, uh, scan, and we need a static keyword over there. Static. Okay. So then we have another thing. We need a static int dec value, and this is gonna be uh, the value which we are going to, you know, get from the user. Then you have static, and we have stack. That is a stack class we have, uh, which is equal to, you know. Uh, stack, I guess. Yeah, good enough. Uh, this is the things we need, and then we're gonna go in the stack class. So we have the stack class which is made in the last tutorial, right? Uh, we made this cla stack class in the last tutorial. If you haven't watched that, I recommend you go and watch that first, and then come back here. That'd be easier. So then you go uh, copy this. We need to make. We we, ha we already have a function called is stack full, but now you need a function is stack empty. So we go copy and paste this, and we're gonna name this is stack. E M P T Y, and this is going to be equal to equal to zero. As simple as that. Uh, this is a basically a stack function. So if top is equal to zero, it is empty. So return true. If not, then it's false. Or you know, you can even do greater than equal to zero. Same thing. Anyway. No, wait. This is not the same thing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, my bad. If it's less than equal to zero, yeah, that that is the same thing. Right, my brain just works differently sometimes. So um. You got this, and then you're gonna initial. Let's uh, make an object for the scan, like the initialize the object, or you know, put it on the heap. The scan is equal to new scanner, and you have system dot in. System dot in. System dot in just tells the you know uh, the scanner function that a uh, scanner class that uh, the input which are supposed to be given are from the keyboard and not from any other file or something. Uh, then you have the stack. So stack is equal to new stack. T A C K, and that's about it. And then you go uh, take the value. So system dot out dot print ln, and you go enter a uh, number, and blah blah blah. And then you go scan equal to uh, not scan. Sorry, int not int. We have that. What am I doing? D C value is equal to scan dot next int. So this is going to take the value from the user and put it in the EC value. Okay. And then you go basically while DEC value is not equal to zero, what you're going to do is basically we're going to, whenever, I, I just told you like about when you start the video that we're going to divide uh, the value by two and you know replace it by the val that value and we truncate the integer part. Uh, sorry. The decimal part. That is the point five point one whatever. So we go stack dot push, and we, what do we push? We push DEC value percent two. Why percent two? 
because uh, whenever you do this, we already we are already dividing by two and taking the remainder, right? And pushing on a stack. So do that, and then we go DEC value dot. No, oh, sorry, that's not going to be dot. Obviously, is equal to DEC value divided by two. Simple enough, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's what we do, and uh, that's that's just how we do it. Um, DEC value. Uh, equal to DEC value by two, and yeah. So and and when you need to, you know, get the value out. So you, when you pop the stuff, pop it. You go while, and you made that special function over here. Is stack empty? Copy and we go stack dot push, and we take the inverse of this, basically the inverted. If stack is empty and you want the stack to not be empty you go this while stack is not empty basically yeah is, it, does, doesn't that make sense while stack is not empty you go uh, what do you go you go stack no we go system dot out sorry system dot out dot print control v and then you go stack dot pop prince of persia <laughs> yeah whatever so you go pop, and I think that's about it. Um, let's just run it and see. One, one more thing I need to check. Yeah, 30. So there's one more thing. Yeah, now let's run it and see what happens. You go 3. Oh, yeah, it's 11. Uh, this doesn't look good. Maybe I should just copy this. And paste it here. And the binary equivalent is... The binary value is... And then you run it. And 33 yeah it is working and this is how you do it basically um when you start this off you be, you be like the scanner function that is basically the scanner oh i always confuse it the scanner class the scanner function oh god what's wrong with me so you go scanner class and and then you take the value from the user that is the dec value and then you go while dec value is not equal to zero stack dot push this on the stack and then you dec value divided by two so basically you're pushing uh, and then you're doing this Dividing by two for the next iteration. So then you go system that out while I'll encourage you to take a piece of paper and actually compute this on that piece of paper because then it'll be really clear if you have it in your brain or not. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and um, yeah, for more videos if you want any.